Hello, my name is Bill and welcome to Mind Your Crypto. Today we have Bitcoin daily update. We are going to see the next price targets. And of course, before we continue, do not forget to join our monthly subscription, Patreon slash Mind Your Crypto. You can find the link in the description box and in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Let's start right now with BTC. So BTC is holding this bottom trend line right here. Eventually, though, is it going to break it down? Unfortunately for me, the most probable scenario for BDC is to break it down towards the next price target, which can be even 22K, 21.7 and so on. So what I'm thinking about BDC is that it can actually crash down even maybe today. We will see about the chances of, the, of that. And right now I'm telling you that because I'm not seeing any strength in the lower time frames. Anyway, as long as we are holding this line right here, we are kind of fine. However, we are not the best situation possible. We can see that maybe this is a bearish flag right here forming for BDC. And on the other hand, what are we having in the 4 hour frame? It is that we are not having the strength to move higher. You can see that BTC is struggling right here a little bit, although I won't stay in the lower time frame so much, but you can see that if it wanted to get into an impulsive wave mode, it would have a nice price analysis right here, and we wouldn't depend so much on this bottom trend line to hold us. For the time being though, as I'm not a fan of bottom trend lines, you know that, I will be just uh, going on and draw my Fibonacci retracement lines, I will be drawing one Fib from this bottom right here up to this top. And you can see that if we find and re get rejected from this top right here as well, the 23.2k to 23.4, then this will be bad for BDC. And be careful, watch it out. Anyway, for the time being, I have something else as well. I will be drawing the Fib now, this time from 26 July up to the 30 July. And you can see that what we did right here is that we are holding the 0.5 Fibonacci retracement. This is what is holding us for now for so long, 22.6K, a very, very huge support level. But if we fail to hold it, or if we fail to go above the 23.2 to 23.4K, and what I mean to go above, it is to close above, because we have already broken it, but we haven't closed above in the daily frame. What we need to do right here, it is to close above the daily frame for BDC, okay? If we can manage to go and pull it off, then yes, we can go even, even higher. But at the end of the day, as for BTC, I'm not so positive about it. Anyway, 22.6K is a very huge support level, and I'm assuming that as long as we're holding it, we are a little bit better. Right now, though, what I want to see is if this was a green candlestick, a green open, just to have a crash going on for a bull trap. It works like a bull trap, for example, and we have a crash going on, and we go even further down. I want to see how this candlestick will play out really, really in interested to see that and of course this price action right here it is destroying people's portfolios okay what it is happening right now it is that this market is actually worse than this one right here because you had an uptrend you had a downtrend you have an uptrend again and a downtrend but right now what are you having is a sideways semi bullish movement with kind of little bit of a downtrend, right? With long weeks, long upper weeks, so that the futures can get destroyed and then we go down. So eventually, I really want to see how this uh, price, how this day will unfold. I'm personally not so optimistic, but anyway, I will try to, you know, to remain calm a little bit and say that, okay, let's find out, let's see what BDC can do. On the other hand, for example, in the 4-hour frame, I'm not seeing any bearish movements from the RSI. I'm not seeing, for example, that we have something bearish, although I'm not seeing something bullish either. You can see that most of the risk metrics are kind of neutral, right? Look at the RSA right here, standing near the 51, between 30 and 70. Look at the Komoot Channel Index even, not in an overbought situation right here, but it doesn't matter, because right there we didn't have an overbought, but we went all the way down. So so right now I'm maybe expecting kind of the same, okay, I have the same feeling that we might be doing something like this. I'm not sure why, but I have this feeling right now 
because for now, actually, my price analysis right here, the price analysis does not look good, right? It doesn't look for me bullish enough. So I can say that, oh, BTC is going up to the moon. And yeah, we are going all the way upwards, maybe exploring the 25 Okay, again, maybe exploring a little bit even, even higher. For the time being, I'm not so confident about the bullish movement of BDC. And yeah, it is also because we found rejection right here. If we go all the way up, we found rejection from this top to this bottom at this line, the 24.3K, which is for me a very, very important resistance level. And once we found a little bit of a sell pressure right here, I think that the most probable scenario, it is to correct for BTC a little bit more. I'm not saying we are going down from now to the 17.7K. All I'm saying is that it needs a little bit to cool off. Anyway, we are going to wait and see. Maybe this whole week will turn out to be a little bit of a sideways week. Maybe we are going a little bit sideways, but at the end of the day, what if we have for here, if we go down, for example, from the 22.6K, then I'm assuming that most of the altcoins and Bitcoin will just crash down and we are going to have a very, very huge correction. Be careful out of this scenario right here. It isn't impossible to play out. We have a long upper shadow and then a huge body of the candlestick going down and following down. Okay, we have seen that a couple of times before, right? We have seen that in this day, for example, we had a long upper shadow, but we ended up red. Okay, you can see many days that we had this going on and we had a nice long upper shadow and then we fell down. So basically what I want to say is, or here, did we mention that? I think, yeah, it was the previous one, right? So anyway, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Be careful a little bit with long positions we are not police yet and of course right here it is better to patiently wait trust me on that better patiently wait for a better entry other rather than getting into an entry where you cannot actually get any profits at all because you're going to liquid to get liquidated from these very very sudden bullish actions and then short positions as well okay it is very very uh, scary scary things right now going into the market but anyway just have patience and everything will go absolutely fine now what we need to have for bdc i'm going to draw the fib from the top to the bottom right here we need to actually surpass the 23.4k for me this is a very huge resistance level actually between 23.2 and 23.4k if we want to stand bullish however right here you can see that we have some more resistance levels to play out for example we have the 23.7k we have the 23.5 we have multiple layers of resistance level before we can get any bullish at all for the time being i would wait for the support level of Bitcoin, the 22.6K. Let's find out what BTC is going to do. 22.6K is a very huge support level. Once losing it, we are going to 21.7K around this area right here, okay, where the tops were, all right, where the top line was back here. We are going to retest that if we lose the 22.6K, sorry, yeah, then yes, we are going absolutely further down into these targets right there. And from there, we are going to see how strong BDC will be in order to get a pump up or not. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Do not forget to join our monthly subscription and see you soon with many, many more videos. Bye.